Good morning, YouTube! Surreal Canine here with more to Sky 4 Promise Revisited. In the last episode, we finally started duplicating our items, and uh, as you can see, I've uh, been pretty busy uh, duplicating fists and power gloves. Uh, Fall Guy 1 does not have a weapon because I took his power glove and gave it back to Gingerbread here. Now then, uh, in between episodes, I uh, went through all of my. Uh, in between episodes, I went through all of my uh, Senate bills and passed the ones that unlocked like classes, uh, base features, evil symbols. So we're pretty good there. Also, uh, these guys have done uh, quite a bit of leveling up. Those are all 12 of the guys that I'm using. Uh, don't know when. Don't know when I'll be using each one of them. Uh, the stronger ones are kind of my nuclear option at this point, at least as far as story content is concerned. Speaking of which, we are doing story content, and by story content, I mean post-game content. Uh, just call it a hunch I have that uh, what we get from it will help us a little bit. So let's go and attend the Dark Hero Live show. There's a very noisy garbage truck outside my window. It is noisy. Oh yeah, I unlocked this lady, which lets you uh, change character palettes. You can also buy extra palettes for any class or character you have unlocked, so uh, yeah. If you wanted to have that, now you have that. So yeah, let's go to the post-game! Dark Show Opening, this is called. Okay. Let's check it out. A single wish started it all. Why? Why me? Yet, it was a deep... This is unforgivable. I hate it. ...and strong wish. Asagi, was that your voice I heard? Bastard! What did you just say to me? I said I can't do that, because I've got something else more important to do right now, dude. You... are you serious? Yes, dude. You, nameless Prinny. Do you know what will become of you if you disobey R, the Prinny instructor's orders? Yeah, dude. I already died once and became a Prinny. I'm not afraid to die again, dude. This printy's got guts. Besides, this thing I've got lined up is totally worth risking my life, dude. What exactly is so important that it can make the most non-committal printy say this? What else could it be? Today's the day of President Axel's Dark Hero Live show, dude! Axel's show? Is that really worth risking your life over? Huh? <laughs> like, duh, dude! Are you crazy or something? Yeah, are you crazy? It's the Dark Hero! Who doesn't want to see the Dark Hero? President Axel's Dark Hero live show is like the most legendary event ever, dude! <laughs> I'm so glad I'm in the Netherworld, dude! Otherwise, I wouldn't get to see his show! He's gotten pretty popular around here. He did say he was going to paint the netherworld his colors. Desco didn't think that, that was possible. But he did it. No, that Axel? This is stupid! Everybody in the netherworld's invited, so you guys better hurry or you won't find a seat, dude! Pretty 
enemies are disobeying orders, and Axel has become super popular. There must be something behind these abnormalities, my lord. <laughs> the world is coming to an end. Indeed. Let's go to the Dark Hero live show and get to the bottom of this. I'm brighter than the stars in the sky. My awesomeness is known worldwide. Kick and attack, Axel Scramble, go. Blaze up and up. B L A Z E U P. Axel, even the sun is jealous of this hot blooded dark hero. Who? Who is he? Uh, who? It's me, President Axel. Oh, Netherworld, follow my lead. What was that bull? Was he just sleep talking? He seemed to be awake, so maybe it was some kind of new age spell? He gathered everybody here to make them listen to this garbage? The demons are gonna riot after that! That... That was awesome! President Axel! What? That was sweet! <laughs> I just threw a third peg leg, dude! Axel! No comment. That was such a perfect dark poem! <laughs> the tears won't stop streaming out my face! That was a poem? <laughs> Maybe it's avant garde. And everyone seems to love it. This is an insult to all poets in the universe. <laughs> hey, Axel's a Dada artist. There's no Axel. other explanation. Tell me the A virus is back. You bastard. How did you deceive all of them? Deceive? <laughs> Please. The only tools I needed were my songs and my poems. You idiot. Who would fall for that? You must have used a spell or something. You guys really do not know how popular Axel is in the other worlds. Just jealous of my awesome poetry and my super popularity. Shut up! No one's jealous of you here. He's like bigger than the Beatles or something. It's okay. You don't have to deny it. I'll cleanse your filthy, jealous hearts with my beautiful vocals. Now, prepare to be enraptured by my voice and my song. Okay, here we go. It's White Tiger. This is a pretty great song. Let's see. I don't see geo panels everywhere. We've got a uh, got level 350 enemies. It's Pink. She's back. Oh yeah. Not a whole lot to say here. Watch this, big sis. Blow up. And just kind of uh, fry everybody with a uh, powered up Yog Sapa. However you pronounce that. Not like I even care. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I need to uh, teach Ritu a Big Bang. So I'm continue being a part of the party. I'm 
going. Everyone, let's go. What a pass. Get these bodyguards out of here. Just have Axel and the one bodyguard. And the thing to do with Axel. The thing to do with Axel is hit him with a monster, because he takes half damage from humans. Oop. This guy was losing HP. Wow, that didn't kill him? Uh, you got some amount of HP there, actually, <laughs> Axel. <laughs> I don't know if you realized. Zero dan- Rutil, what the heck? All right, nuclear option go. Donk. Wait, what? Oh, Knoll's non-elemental special attacks. If HP is under 25%, I did not know he had that. Okay, well, let's just fry him with their mega fire. There we go. <laughs> Not bad for a pretty instructor. But this is only the beginning of my dark hero show. The main part starts now. Everyone, give me your power. I want to hear you scream! Huh? What are you talking about? Why do we gotta scream, dude? That doesn't make any sense! Galva Torres has officially killed the mood. <laughs> Who cares about that? What am I doing here? Me too. A little sick. I should probably go home and sleep. Yeah, sounds good to me too. Hey, what's going on? My crazy fans have hightailed it like phantoms. Looks like knocking them around has cleared Axel's spell. Excellent. Everyone has gained their consciousness back. The netherworld is back to its normal self. Problem solved. We still don't know the cause of all that, but... well... Hang on a sec! The problem now is that my fans have disappeared in the blink of an eye! Guys, you've got to help me solve this mystery! Even if it's a presidential order, we can't make the impossible possible. Your fans were non-existent to begin with. You're lying, meanie. This netherworld has definitely been influenced by my greatness. Meanie? How old are you, three? <laughs> I was thinking the exact same thing. Okay, I I've got the perfect solution. To earn back all of my lost fans, we're gonna form a special team. I call it President Axel and his bodyguards. 
Well. Lord Val, are you going to approve of this? Well, it may not be what we desire, but it is a presidential order. You're actually enjoying this, aren't you? I don't know about this. His idiotness might be contagious. <laughs> they say there's no cure for that. We'll never recover if we catch his idiotness. Well, Hugo was an idiot to begin with, so... Ooh, Desko definitely doesn't want to become an idiot! Don't worry, I can promise you this. As someone who's been around all of you, idiocy is not contagious. Oh, snap! Oh, good. Then it should be okay. <laughs> Big sis, he just totally insulted us. Okay, now let's go solve this mystery and bring the Axelness back to this netherworld. Dark Hero Rises! Okay, we got some new points for the cheat shop too. Awesome! So yeah, uh, that's probably going to be it for this episode, but I will be recording all day probably because it's my day off and I'm a little bored and we are going to be doing just that. So, I will see you guys at some other point in time. Bye-bye for now. Love you all.